function is again, when given a function, all you simply do, the step by step that I just erased over there, is replace f of x with y. That's step number one. Step number two is the swap, the x and the y coordinate. Correct? Step number three would now be to solve. So to solve, you're going to use your inverse operations. So therefore, I look at my y. I see my y is being multiplied by negative 1 fifth, and it's being added by 2. We always undo addition and subtraction first. Therefore, then to get rid of multiplying by negative 1 fifth, I could divide by negative 1 fifth. But instead of dividing by a fraction, I always prefer to multiply by the reciprocal. reciprocal. So negative 5 over 1. And you guys agree with me that negative 5 over 1 is really just the same thing as negative 5. So therefore, any number multiplied by reciprocal is going to multiply to 1. I'll solve for the y on the left-hand side. So I have y equals negative 5 times x minus 2. And then obviously, you could go ahead and distribute the negative 5, Julian. So you have y equals negative 5x plus 10. And then step number 4 is to simply replace y with f inverse of x. Done. Oh, and then they ask for an inverse, right? Or if it's a function or not, correct? So we go ahead and look at this, and we say, all right, if I was going to plug in a number in for x, again, let's just pick 0. Let's just think about it. Am I only going to get one answer out? Am I only going to get one answer when I plug for f of x, f inverse of x? If I plug 0 in for x, 0 times negative 5 is 0. 0 plus 10 would be 10. But I'm only going to get one answer. And if you think about it for any number, if I plug in any number, am I only going to get one answer? Yes. So therefore, this is a function. So you can say, is the inverse a function? Yes. OK? All right, so last example.